Allow us to see another resurrection day. Yes. Let's go. But Lord, as I am reminded, mm. you don't have to wait until this day. Yeah. Every day yes. is a day to remember yes. Yes. who you are yes. and what you've done for us. Yes. Thank you, Lord, yes. for this day. For this is a day that you have made. We will let your name rejoice and be glad in it. So we come together, unity. Not in division, not division, but togetherness to worship and praise your name. Let our, our minds run back of what you've done for us and what you are yet still to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. To bring us together to lift up your holy and righteous name. For it is in you that we live, we move, and we have our being. We thank you, Lord, that you didn't just die and not rise, but you rose. Yes. Again, not only great, but you rose in our lives. Yes. That we may walk in the newness of life. Yes. That we'll be real in all that we say and do. Yes. Live the life that's pleasing unto you. Yes. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. We thank you. Thank you. For everyone, all of our visitors, yes. we thank you, thank you. Thank you. for allowing us to, for them to be with us on this day. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, while we're here, search our hearts, yes. cleanse our minds, yes. Yes. deliver us from in and everything yes. that's not of you. We want to hear you one day say, well done. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are so precious to yes. us. We love you, but you loved us first. Yes. Yes. Thank you. you gave your yes. life that yes. we you. may have a right yes. to bless your name, Jesus, yes. to the tree of life. Yes. We say thank you. Thank you. Lord. Pray, Lord God, there may be somebody in our midst today that don't know you. Pardon of their sin. May the word go forth. May the song will be sung. Mm -hmm. will cause somebody to change their way of living. Yes, change their way of thinking. Yes, change their mind. Yes. In the name of yes. not only them, but we that have been baptized. Yes, may we be changed even the more. Yes, yes. To live a life for you that others will see there is a reality. Yes. And serve the truth yes. and the living God. Thank you for this resurrection Sunday. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Oh, God. If you rise in our life, yes, let our light shine that others would see there is a reality in serving you. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Help us to be real. Help us to be sincere. Help us to be dedicated. Yes. To do your will. Yes. Lord, you're soon to come back. Yes. Yes. We want to hear you say, Well done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Give them wisdom and give them knowledge, give them understanding. Help them, Lord, mm -hmm. that he may help us. Yes. Because yes. beyond these walls, we must tell somebody that he is a reality yes. and yes. serve yes. a true and a living God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 For it is in you that we live. It's a glorious day. Thank you, Jesus. It's not a sad day because you got it. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah.
Lord said, it's the day the Lord had made. Yes. We shall rejoice oh, yes. and be glad. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. I can't get this out of my head. I'm going back to Brother Hill because he lives. Yes. I have a face of my heart. Oh, yes. season in your yeah. life, but because he lives, you can face tomorrow. Yeah. Because he lives, you can come out of what you're going through. Yeah. Because he lives. Oh, bless his name. Yeah. I'm going to hold you long. I'm going to do what I got to do to say I'm struggling right now. And there's a reason why I'm struggling, but God does give strength. He does. He does give strength. Bless his name. I want to invite your attention to the truth of the day, John's Gospel, chapter 20. I want to focus our attention on verses 5, 6, and 7. The Gospel in the same time. Chapter 20, verses 5, 3, 7. Simon Peter came and followed him and went into the tomb and saw the linen clothes lying there. <coughs> Last verse, verse 7. And the handkerchief that he had been around his head, not laying with the linen clothes, but folded together in a place by itself. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you. Again, for your goodness and kindness and your tender mercy and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings you have stored upon us. And even what you have yet to do, we thank you, God. God, I pray you open the ears of the hearers, the hearts of the receivers, that your word will fall on good ground and produce fruit in days to come. I pray, God, you bless me, your servant. You be with me, speak to me, and speak through me as I speak to this, your people, God. Send fresh manna from on high, God. God, I pray, God, you help me. Be with me, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Give freshness and clear your word to this, your servant, God. God, just move, mighty God. Keep me humble, obedient, so this is that sensitive to your spirit, your spirit alone, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Let the words of my mouth, yes. meditation of my heart, be settled in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Yes. These blessings I ask in Jesus' name. For your glory, your son, Jesus, we pray. And we do thank you. Amen. No.
And they went to the support. They went to the tomb. Here we go. So they both ran together. Catch this. They ran together. And the other disciple, John, outran Peter. Catch what verse 2 said. The one whom Jesus loved. And that love was transferable because John loved Jesus too. And when he got received the news about Jesus, he and Peter run to the sepulchre or the tomb. But he outruns Peter. It was a sprint to the tomb. The, the question is, why did John go to the tomb or sepulchre before Peter? They said probably because John was younger than Peter. You. He got there to the tomb first. Verse 5 said, I call it Jesus leaves behind dead stuff. Jesus leaves behind dead stuff. I want to pose a question to us, to me, a question to us right now. What's in your life that's dead you need to get rid of? All right. All right. All right. All right. John goes in. He goes, brother, there he's supposed to. Stooping down and looking in. And saw the linen clothes lying there. Yet he did not go in. Mm -hmm. Now I'll ask the question right now. Think about this just now. You run and get that first, but why you not go in? Mm. Wow. What you said? Possibly. He was probably fearful. He received news that Jesus was gone. Yeah. But possibly he was still afraid to go in and see what was there. Yeah. He possibly was afraid to see that Jesus was really gone. Right. Possibilities. Watch this. It's likely that there was a low opening in the tomb. All right. That required one to stoop to enter in or look in. John saw the linen clothes there. The linen clothes were still, watch this, were still in the general shape in which. They had been wrapped around the body. Can you imagine the linen clothes? And what they did, really, they were taking strips of cloth and wrap it around the body of Jesus. But watch this supernaturally, it still had the form of Jesus' body. Supernaturally. Because usually when you come out of clothes, your clothes are not going to look like what you would, your body would shape. But supernaturally, it was a shape of the body. And yet he did not go into the tomb. No one, because listen to this, Mary thought somebody stole his body, first of all. Listen to this. No one who came to steal the body would have taken time to unwrap the body. You're going to steal something. You're going to go quick, fast, and hurry. Get out. No one's going to take time to unwrap a body. And leave it close behind. Now in verse 6, Peter gets there. Keep in mind, John does not go in there. He saw the stuff there. But the man was gone. John goes in, he sees the stuff there, mm -hmm. but the man is gone. Right. Mm -hmm. He goes to the sepulchre, he looks in, he sees dead stuff, but not the man. All right. All right. All right. All right. The last time. He goes to the sepulchre, looks in, 
Because I go in, he sees all the stuff that don't need to be with Jesus. All right. All right. So, Peter gets her there in verse 6. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb and saw the linen clothes lying there. By now Peter had caught up and watched this, went into the tomb without hesitation. He was not like John. John was afraid, possibly scared. But if you look at the life of Peter, Peter gets stuff on impulse. Peter was not scared at all. Peter went in without hesitation. There is something about the, his impulsive manner that makes us feel kinship with him. Because sometimes we do some stuff without on impulse. Peter did not think about it. He just went straight into the supposed. Watch this. <laughs> he saw the linen clothes there, mm -hmm. but the body of the Savior was not there. All right. Be Jesus leaves behind. I need you to catch this, and I'm going to take my time with this. Mm -hmm. I need you to get this. Jesus leaves behind everything that is dead or that represents dead things spiritually. Right. It was not that Jesus was unspiritual. Mm -hmm. It was stuff that was on him that was unspiritual. Because right. in Jesus there was no sin. Yeah. But guess what? He took our sins. Yes. He bore our sins. Yes. He bore our iniquities. Yes. And all that was wrapped up around him, he had to get rid of that stuff. And I'll tell you the reason why he went through in a minute. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Right. Bless your name, Jesus. He leaves behind all the dead spiritual things. The linen wrap covered his body. Things that are part of the body, such as the heart and the feet. Mm -hmm. I can go longer, but I ain't got enough time to go to all the body parts and all that stuff. But I'm going to get a couple of them just to you. All right. The heart and the feet. He leaves behind a wrong heart. And a wrong spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. Psalms 51 and verse 10 says this. Create within me a clean heart. Here he is. My heart is messed up. Yes. The psalmist said, and this is when the, David said it, this is when he had messed up with Bathsheba and had Uriah killed. Right. He begins to have over to a personal revival. Y'all heard it? A personal revival. And talk to God in prayer and say, God create within me a clean heart. Oh, yes. oh God, renew a right spirit within me. I'm going to say that. My spirit is not right. My heart is not right. Stuff in my heart should not be. Oh, but in Genesis, Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse number 26 says this. I give, I will give you a new heart. Yes. 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 And put a new spirit within you. Amen. I will take out the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. John Spoken said, heart and spirit. Psalm yes. said, create me a clean heart and a right spirit. Yes. My heart's not right and my spirit's not right. Yes. Ezekiel says the same thing almost. He says, watch this, I will give you a new heart. That's right. I will clean out your spiritual arteries. All right. I will get all the plaque out of your spiritual arteries and I will give you a new heart. Yes. And put a new spirit within you. Yes. I, watch this. I can't give you a heart but you the right spirit too. And this is saying that with the heart right, the spirit got to be right. Yes. God sent us, your heart got to be right, and your spirit got to be right. And they got to go hand in hand in order for me to do a work in you. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Also, he leaves behind wrong direction. Mm -hmm. You 
You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong direction. Psalms 27 and 11, 8 portion says, teach me your way. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Meaning that you got to have a teachable spirit. You got to want God to teach you. Yes. You got to want God to lead you in the right direction in order to walk with him. Got to get rid of some stuff. We got to get rid of some stuff. We got to get rid of some stuff. We got to get rid of some stuff. He leaves behind the dead stuff that bound him. What's bounding you? All right. All right. All right. I'm almost done. Believe it or not. Verse 7 says, And the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen clothes, by like this, but folded together, in one place by itself. The detail about the face cloth or the handkerchief was added to show that the Lord's departure was orderly. God help me write this right here. His departure was orderly. Meaning that the Jesus Christ, the Savior, operated in order. He uses this as a ticket to us that we must walk in order to walk with God. Yes. Amen. Show us that God is an orderly God and God functions and operates in order, not out of order. Amen. Because we operate out of order. Yes. He's in the tomb. Mm -hmm. He is risen in the tomb, but he walks in order. Watch this. <clears throat> the Lord's departure was ordered and was unhappy. Mm. He took his time. Mm -hmm. He took his time. If someone had stolen the body, he would have not have carefully folded clothes. Mm -hmm. Catch this. Jesus folds the face cloth. He folds it. He doesn't leave it there. He folds it and separates it from the linen clothes. He separates the head from the body. All right. Watch this. I'm going to do a little out of order go. I'm going to fix the body first. And then I'll go to the head. I'm going to fix your body first. I'm going to fix your heart and your spirit first. I'm going to fix your direction first. And now I'm going to fix your mind. Oh, yes. I'm going to fix how you think. I'm going to fix how you feel. Some of us right here, my mind's jacked up. In the sanctuary. Our mind's never done on God. Okay, he, got to say no. he folds the clothes. Or perhaps the implication is that Christ did not rush out of the tomb. I ain't in no rush. I already told him I'm going to get up. I don't even know why Mary Magdalene made a big boast about it. I told him several times, I will rise again. Amen. You may destroy this temple or this body, but I will rise again. They didn't believe. She didn't believe it. They didn't believe it. Watch this. So I'm coming home. In that rush, but he gave, but he left his grave clothes neatly folded. Neatly folded. And I'm coming home. The face coat, which has been around his head had been left behind. What he had to leave behind was such as wrong thinking. There had to be a mind change. All right. There had to be a mind change. 
We sit in the sanctuary of God's house with the wrong mind. We sit in God's house with the wrong mindset. In God's house. And God is saying that because your minds are not really on me, it's on something else. You cannot allow me to move mightily in the midst of my people to really give total deliverance, total healing, total victory. Because your mind is not on what it should be on. Watch this. He says this. Because you leave behind wrong thinking, a change of mind. Philippians 2 and 5 says this, let this mind be in. Mm -hmm. Which is also, come on, talk to me, help me out. Yeah. Which is also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. I'm trading on some tough ground right now. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to keep on doing what God told me to do. He said, he told me to say. Yes. Because he said, I will keep him in perfect peace. Yeah. Whose yeah. mind is staying on me. I can't keep your mind right until you keep your mind on me. Yes. I can't have you right until your mind is right. Yes. You gotta have the right thing. Let uh -huh. this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Right. Let me deliver you and set you free in your mind. Yes. Yes. He left behind. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Help me, God, in the name of Jesus. He left behind wrong speech, such as gossip. All right. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 13, and I'm going to say it real slow. All right. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 13. Right. From the New King James Version. And besides, they learn to be idle. 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 The, 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 the perception, the thinking was idle. Yes, yes. Talk about idle was not on God. Right. It's on other stuff. Yes. Other things. Yes. Come on. Word about. Mm -hmm. From house to house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to be proud. From phone to phone. Come on. Come on. From text to text. Come on. Come on. Not only idle, but also gossip. Yes. Right. Yes. No, he says gossips. Yes. Plural. Yes. And busy bodies yes. in somebody else's schooling. Right. Yes. And don't know the thing. Yes. Listen to this. Same things that they all not. I need to read it again. Yes. And besides, they learn to be idle. Wondering about from house to house, right. phone to phone, text to text, email to email. Mm -hmm. Facebook, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
of God. Does healing through the word of God. Spiritually and physically. That is healing. Open your ear gate. Yeah. To the spirit of God. But close your ear gate to anything outside of God's word. Yeah. God is on his way back. And he's on his way back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Not this building. This is a place of worship. But we are the church. We the people that are in the church are the church. Because this building doesn't really go down now. We're not much stone here, buddy. He's coming back for us. And people are dying quickly. They're young, middle aged, and old. They're dying. We have got to get ourselves together with God. I want to ask the question of how much do you love God? Are you serving God with intentionality? Or are we faking it while we're trying to make it? Let me tell you something, faking it and trying to make it ain't gonna work. If you do not have, if we if we do not have a true authentic relationship with God, we're not gonna make it. We'll be left behind. Watch this. Thank you, Jesus. Watch this. Jesus had to leave those things behind for him to watch it for him to receive a glorified body. Once he started to pour off that dead stuff, his body starts to become glorified. And if you keep reading in John's gospel, you will find that Jesus' body is so glorified, he walked through the door. Amen. He did not touch the door now, like we would have to do. He walked right through the door. Supernaturally. Glorified by him. Because he got rid of the dead stuff that could hinder him from being a, having a glorified body. Oh, bless his name. Unlike Watch this. Unlike Lazarus, unlike Jesus, Lazarus had great clothes on. Watch this. And I'm going to be done. For the fourth time. <laughs> unlike Jesus, Lazarus still had dead stuff on or great clothes on. The Gospel according to St. John chapter 11 verse 44 says this. And he who had died came out bound hand and foot with grave clothes and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them I want to stop right now. Oh, I'll, I'll keep going. I'm going to say something in a minute. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Loose him. Loose him. Oh, God, thank you for the tweet I just got. Thank you, Lord. And let him go. That he might be free. Now, watch the text. He asked them. To lose him. You need a friend to lose you. Wait a minute. You don't need just a friend to lose you. You need a spiritual friend to lose you. You need a spiritual friend to set you free in your mind, in your spirit. They lose him. He was bound hand and foot. But Jesus said, lose him and let him go. He was free for what bound him. He was free for what held him Bless your name, Jesus. Woo, Jesus. Watch this. We have a victory in Jesus. When we take off the grave clothes, we take off what hinders us, what bounds us, we can be free and we do have the victory. 
First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57 says this. It says, thanks be to God. Come on, heavenly priest boy. Thanks be to God. Not thanks to man, but thanks be to God. Which give us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Walking in Jesus, we have the victory. Walking in Jesus, we have the deliverance. Walking in Jesus, we have oh God, what we need. Jesus could not ascend until he got rid of the dead stuff. We cannot go up until we get rid of the dead stuff. My mind got to be right.
that's bounding you. God bless you. I'll keep you. This is a humble prayer. It is time for an extended invitation at this time. There may be someone who desires prayer. A closer walk with the Lord. As she come at this time.
Make us better for your glory and your honor. Give us a mind and a desire to want more of you, to crave more of you, God. Oh, God, and hunger and thirst for more of you and your word, God. Help us to God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Yes, yes. I pray, God, you bless these who have come to the altar. Uh, they have come for various reasons. Bless us uh, uh, to the Joyce Brown. Bless yes. her. Touch and turn her in a mighty and an abundant way. Yes, Touch her husband, Clarence. Yes. Touch his body with your mighty hand of in the name of Jesus, we pray. God bless and strengthen Brother Gary Morgan, strengthen his spiritual lives, touch him and draw him closer to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. I pray, God, you'll bless some dying family. Touch and bless in a mighty, wonderful way. You know where family, family stands in you, God bless in a mighty and an abundant way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now I pray, God, you're blessed. Oh, Patricia Morgan, God. Touch and bless her. Strengthen her. Touch her body to my hand of healing. Uh, bless her granddaughter, God, to, to bless her, God, to succeed in what she's a, she trying to achieve, God. I pray you move by your mighty hand and your mighty power for her granddaughter in the name of Jesus. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. There's a, a, a list, a page long of names, God. You know whose names are on this list. I pray you would touch name by name and one by one. And the needs that they stand in need of God. Touch and move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for all of our visitors who stopped by on this Resurrection Sunday. Bless them mightily. Bless them abundantly, God. And I pray, God, they have received a blessing from you in this worship experience, God. And God, again, bless you these, the membership of the Star of Hand Baptized Spirit Calls for Church of Holy God. Bless them name by name and one by one as well, God. Just bless them, open doors for God, and provide for them, God. Just move my God. Oh, God, for them, God. Oh, God, these blessings we ask. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we do thank you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. God bless you.
Oh God, I pray God you bless this your people in a mighty, mighty way. May they have a great, wonderful week. Blessings be upon this your people, God. And as we leave our house, go to our house. Give us traveling mercies. Bind every accident. Bind every mechanical problem. Dispatch your angel trying to send us out. We pray traveling mercies. Now unto him that's able to keep you from falling. Present you faultless before the presence of the only wise God, our Savior. Be glory, and to be the power, both now and forever. And the people of God, son, 